before we get started, my name is Beautifully Rewritten, okay? And if you guys could do me a favor and just uh, share these videos on every platform that you guys have so that way these messages can get crossed throughout the world, okay? Especially during a time like this, okay? And if you're looking for peace, ask me about it, all right? Um, just know that his peace is very real, you guys. Let me take you over to the book of Philippians real quick. Chapter 4, verse 6 through 7. I'm gonna put the NLT version right here. I love it. It breaks it down so simple. And it says here, from what I remember, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything, giving thanks unto God. So these are secrets, you guys, on how to maintain a level of clarity in the midst of chaos, which is currently around us right now, you guys. I'm still walking in this beautiful peace that God promises in these verses right here. Let's keep reading. It says this, And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. But in the NLT version, it says, um, His peace, which, which exceeds beyond our understanding, will guard your heart and your mind as you live in Christ Jesus. If you break that scripture down, you can assess your own life and ask yourself, okay, number one, do I have faith in God, in the God of the Bible right now? Do I have faith in this God who is proclaiming these promises? Do I even have faith to even approach his throne? So it takes faith, number one, to even approach his throne. And two, when you do approach his throne, you have to ask yourself the second question, am I praying to you about everything? Or am I only praying to you about the hard things or about the, the things that I need immediately? Am I inviting you in my everyday life, Lord God? Am I praying to you about everything? And am I even thanking you? Am I taking the time out to acknowledge what you have done in my life then, now, and will do in the future? Am I even doing that, Lord? I may need to assess my relationship with you. And thirdly, it says at the end of the scripture, it says that he will guard your heart and your mind as you live in Christ Jesus. It's saying as you live in Christ Jesus. Some of us are living in Christ Jesus and some of us are, and some of us are living outside of Christ Jesus. So you have to assess yourself. Am I living in Christ Jesus? Am I walking in his way? I'm not preaching perfection here, you guys. You can't be perfect. There's absolutely no way on this earth while you're still in the flesh that you can be perfect but you can walk in his ways. You really can. So you have to assess yourself and ask yourself these questions. If you say yes to these three things, you will obtain peace as you walk throughout this earth, as you treat COVID patients as myself, you know, as you're uh, speaking to people who really hate this God and they portray their hatred toward him onto you. I mean, this stuff is real. <laughs> so you guys, you guys have to ask yourself those questions. So. Anyway, I think that's the end. Well, so much for Psalm 45. We're gonna keep skipping all along. We're gonna go to Psalm 46 the next day. But um, go ahead and bow your head and just worship with me, okay? Heavenly Father, I come before your throne in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith, who has who has offered us so many promises that he is willing to do in our lives, Lord God, if we proceed on the path of life leading to him. 
So Father, I just thank you for your words of encouragement through your word and even through the Holy Spirit that you have planted in every believer who believes in your son, Jesus Christ. I thank you for your guidance, for your wisdom, for your protection on this earth, oh God. Heavenly Father, I lift up every person who was watching this video, Lord God. And Father, I want to lift up all the nurses out there, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to just place your hedge of protection around them, oh God. Protect them from this COVID virus, Lord God. And Father, protect their work centers as well, Lord. Even protect my own work center, Lord God. I've already prayed privately to you about this, Lord, so I'm asking for the work centers of others, Lord, protect them. Protect them, O oh God, as they begin to be your hands and your feet to treat these patients, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I pray over every person who is struggling with peace. They keep reciting the scriptures, yet inwardly they do not have peace. And Father, I pray that you stir in their heart to take your words that were spoken in this video serious. Cause them to, ex to examine their own heart before your throne, Father. Purify their heart, cleanse their heart, oh God. Draw them to you, leading to true repentance, oh God. Heavenly Father, we thank you and we love you. And it's in your Son, the risen Savior, in his name I pray.